Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and last time we started our first mini smelting column and mini maker area. Now I think I forgot to go over these machines but they should be fairly obvious from what we have already done in the other area. The um, green circuit maker needs copper cable to be fed into it so these guys are grabbing that putting it into this machine and of course um, the inserters are made with green circuits and gears. Now the gear machine is servicing both belts and um, and the inserter machine so it's it's a pretty busy thing. Now these items are for a specific purpose which is science which I would like to get to in this episode real quick. So let me go ahead and finish a little bit of this. We're going to use a, a nice little trick here uh, to grab some copper off of this line and this is this is something that we'll do later but if you notice the underground is facing this way. And if you look at an underground, it has two parts. It has the belt part and it has a hood part. Well, I call it the hood anyway. Um, and what happens is when you feed something onto this, if you feed like a mixed belt into it, it will take the side that is the belt side and block the side that is next to the hood. So we're gonna take advantage of this particular thing and just notice the way it is facing. So the belt is toward um, the lower part of the screen and the copper is to the lower part of the screen. So therefore, we are going to get copper, hooray. And that's important because red science requires copper and gears as we know from building the other array. Now these guys, we did not put down these guys, but Notice that inserters always put on the far side of the belt. You can use this to your advantage when you are building assemblies so that they will always place it on the same side. They, they take generally from both sides, but the near side first, but when they place stuff, it's always on the far side of the belt. Um, so we're going to probably take good advantage of this uh, in just a second. So now, we would like to get these guys made. Do I have enough assemblers? No, actually not. We need we need to start building our mall, actually. We need to... I, I am lacking basic items. It's scary and sad. No. Um, and then this, these machines are going to be for grenades when we get them. I don't know. Let's look where they are. They are probably military too. There they are. So we're going to need red and green sites. But this, I want to be the very first technology because we're going to need grenades. Um, and there's a funny joke that goes along with grenades, which we will, which I will go over also. Right, so we have um, the red science, and I love the ghost copier. Thank you again, mod author. This is fantastic. Um, right, you know what? I'm going to look up something real quick because I, um, it's very, 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 very important. Let's see. Ghost copier, yes. Yes, indeed. All right, my, my browser is loading it. It's on the left and it is made by Distant Cam. Thank you so much, Distant Cam. It's very well worth mentioning your name because you have created the mod that saves us all. This is so good. All right, um, let's get some more power poles made. Oh, I'm running out of wood. Oh dear, I, that means I have to actually have to chop trees. Um, right, so anyway, let's get some of these inserters placed down. Here. Okay. Now this uh, combination is, I think I might actually alter this blueprint because I don't really like the way it puts things down. Because what this does, it buffers red and green science and I don't think we actually need a buffer. It's really useful in a speed run, but we don't need it. And instead we're going to use one belt here. Um, but you say, ah, how can these uh, put things over here. Well, they can if you make them long-handed inserters. So let me see how many we've got. We've got two, four, six, seven of these guys. So I'll make seven long-handed inserters. Okay, let's make sure we go here. And also I have completely forgotten that I have inserters in the box. Yes, let's take some inserters so I don't have to make them. Right, um, now we want to put these guys down here. Go and they're oh, and the recipes copied. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it's so, so. I mean, I get I get very like 
um, wiggly in the knees. It's, it's just like, you know, weak in the knees. Oh my God, it's so good. Right. Um, Long-handed inserters. As you can see with the long-handed inserter, you see where the arrow points. It's going to put it right on that side of the belt, on the opposite side of the belt, and also reach over a square. Okay, here we go. Get all of the uh, power poles going on here. Um, and we'll get these inserters coming along. We'll put the belt down and we'll unleash all the stuff. Right. Okay, so again, we're doing a T intersection here where we want this guy to drop there. Oopsies. Okay, okay. We want to make sure the safest way to do a T is basically to do the side bits and then put in the center bit last, uh, or the, otherwise things can get confused. So, right, now these guys are both now feeding green science. Um, and we should be getting some somewhere. Maybe this one is going to go. I don't know. But I just want to show you guys how... Oh, there it goes. See, it drops it right on the correct side of the belt. Right. Um, now we can extend this this way and start feeding these items into the labs. Now, I haven't actually made any labs. I probably should do that because it's kind of necessary. I need to grab some, some iron because I'm totally out of iron. Uh, how many labs do we actually have here? We have two there. We can count these by saying, aha, we have 25. So we need to make 23 of them. Okay, we'll make all 20 of these. Good, good, good. Works for me. Um, but I can steal these guys. I can steal this whole array of stuff. I'm just going to leave those where they are to, so they can kind of process until the bitter end. There we go. And then we'll pick them up. Okay. Now this design is far superior to doing one with chests because all of it is belt fed and it's very, very automated. The whole thing is perfectly automated. Now why is this being pesky? Does this have too many on one side? It might, might have too much because it looks like it might be like slowing the process down. Though there is some ore actually making it to the end here, um, but that could be because it built up. I don't know. We'll have to find out. But yeah, all right, let's start off with our two labs and get our inserters down here. There we go. Um, actually, I want to take these off. Oh, well, no, well, no, we don't, we, we don't actually have to take them off because there was a change implemented where if there's a ghost blueprint, the inserters will not place anything behind them. They'll wait till the ghost has either been removed or is a physical building. Perfect. Right. Okay, we just need to wait for these labs to be constructed, but um, in the meantime, we have power poles to place down. Okay, there we go. And it's slow because I did too many at once. <laughs> oh dear. Goodness me, goodness me. Right, I'm going to steal these electronic circuits. I think I want to chuck this stone somewhere, um, maybe in the stone maker. But this is, this is doing good. We need to keep on grabbing these guys. Um, in fact, you know what? We could actually output them into a chest. And I could put this stone into... Eh, let's shove that in there. Power pole. Because I just have way too much stone on me. I'm also going to tip this uh, iron ore into one of these guys. Again, um, control click to put it in directly. And all we need to do is get this hand crafting done so we can get these labs. You know what? In fact, I'm going to probably cancel them and then we'll just do like five at a time. And they can just craft the gears um, as they're needed. So that's um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. We don't need 25. We need 23. 1, 2, 3. Okay. That's going to be a little bit more viable for working. So let me put the rest behind and you'll see how the labs actually daisy chain toward each other. They grab from the line and then pass it along uh, onto the last lab. Now I probably won't use this lab arrangement long term because I like to have um, speed beacons around mine but this is a very very viable strategy. I'm going to put the science pack in the first machine so that it can just daisy chain on down. Uh, right, we want to get, oh, we lab research speed is an awesome thing, but I think we wanted to get military too, wherever that is, 
Where is it? No. Military 2, where are you? Military. Okay, here's military 2, but oh, we need steel first. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we'll get steel first, um, and then we can get military 2. I should probably make some armor. Do I have any armor on? No, it's... <laughs> Whoops. All right, we'll make some armor, and when this is made, it'll automatically go into the slot, which is pretty darn handy. I also want to make some more assembly machines, but yeah, here we go. We can place down a few more of these labs, and then I'll just do the rest of the sides here. I'm going to ignore these lamps because um, with this uh, light mod that I'm using, you don't actually need them. Okay, steel processing is done. Um, now we're going to go military too, which as you see requires red and green packs. Now what do these numbers mean up here? Um, the 15 is time needed to research one unit in the lab. That means it takes 15 seconds to uh, process the pair of these packs in the lab. Um, you have to have both of them in the lab to, to start working. Um, and then it takes 15 seconds and you need to do that 20 times. So um, if you have 20 labs, then they can all do it at the same time. And it'll literally only take 15 seconds. Um, some of these guys are a little bit slow, but they're just having to um, feed all the labs as they're going along. As you can see though, we are going pretty fast uh, with, with the research, decently fast. I, I sometimes look at the forums and people are like, oh yeah, I have like one lab. No, don't have one lab. Look at this. Look at the charging speed of this thing. It's fantastic. Right. Okay. And we want grenades. We already have grenades because they've just been researched. Um, solar energy sounds good too. Um, advanced material processing. So, oh, well, heavy armor. Let's get heavy armor because, because biters are dangerous. Um, you get there eventually. Now, is it a problem if these guys like heavy armor only needs reds? Uh, they have greens in there. Basically, when they're doing stuff, they won't actually use the green pack. If you oh, there it goes. You could see it went down to one. They were not using the the green at all. Just use the red. Um, so it's not a problem if they're in there. So next thing, this these are meant to be grenade thingies. Um, and I could replop the blueprint, but that's going to give us a lot of ghost belts around here. But I happen to know what these are, um, but you can actually replop the blueprint. Um, and that, that's something, a uh, peculiarity of the system is that if you don't have the technology researched, and it's better to look at one of my mall blueprints, because that has like a million things in it. Uh, malls, there we go. We have stuff. You can actually see that there are like items with red... Uh, cross and um, do not enter signs or whatever the heck they're called. Um, and those means they are not researched yet. However, when they are researched, they will show up. So I'm going to plop these guys down and I want to start making grenades um, to, to deforest the world. Uh, not really deforest the world, but we're going to get there. Uh, right. We're going to need these guys here. Now, when you have inserters on a blueprint, normally it's pretty important to use that type of inserter. So for example, like these are fast inserters. I know I need fast ones because maybe the, uh, the yellow ones are not fast enough to keep up with, um, with the production. So that's kind of important to, to think about. Okay, these guys are just going full tilt. Looks like we finished our lab making. It's interesting. I'm not really used to this much handcrafting, um, so it's kind of like I have to constantly remember to click, click, click all the time. Um, but soon we'll have them all and we will no longer need to have handcraft anything else. Let's get some lab research speed going on. So here we go. And there are little arms are moving, chucking everything over. Perfect. Uh, right. So these guys, I want to have like four stacks of grenades at a time i think that seems reasonable did i oh i do they're right here nice okay good 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 now these guys it's important to note these these are only using coal they are not actually needing the ore so they're not trying to uh grab items that these guys are using they are using the coal which is used at a much lower rate than ore is oh and we have grenades oh grenades are so good I to, oh, I need to show you my SMG. Right. Where did it go? 
Did I, did I get one? Oh, it's been put here. So I don't like the pistol at all. I just take it out and give the SMG these bullets over here. Um, and we could probably stand to make some more bullets, in fact. Um, or we could just go with the AP rounds. That's another option. Okay, these are actually empty. All these smelters are empty. But you see how much more convenient this is to have all the stuff on the assembly lines instead of, you know, going out here and feeding these all the time and worrying about coal and all this kind of stuff. All of this starter stuff can now be deleted. It's completely unnecessary now for what we need. Okay, let me just go on the belt and grab items here. And I think we can start actually planning where we want. Oh, wow, we have so much space here. I'm not used to this little water. <laughs> it's kind of funky. Um, I think we're going to probably build over this guy. But I would like to have smelters up here. In fact, I can plan this out. I think we'll have... Oopsies. So, bus here. Kind of going in this direction. I think we'll have smelting here. Does that give us enough room? I think it should give us enough room. Um, yeah, I think so. I think it should. Because I want to have a train line down this way. Okay. We'll try it this way and hopefully it'll work. Um, well, of course, we won't know if it works until way long time from now. But yeah, we'll get there. I promise we will get there. So we now have grenades made. I'll show you guys how these work. And by the way, they are just held in the hand uh, or put on the hotbar, basically. Um, if you try to put it in a slot, you'll find out that grenade cannot be used as a weapon. <laughs> Technically, they can. They, I mean, they are weapons, but they don't do much damage. So I think it's a very funny joke from the devs that they left that in there. All right, so let's go ahead and um, delete these trees. You have to have a little bit of finesse with this because um, you can kill yourself. You can very easily damage yourself. Okay, oh no. I should have just started out here. Okay, I've run out. So, and these guys, these trees that have partial hit points left on them, they will grow back. So it's always good to, you know, kind of eliminate a whole area if possible. All right, so how many are in the chest? There are nine. That's not enough. I'm gonna, gonna go back and do something else um, until those guys are ready. This looks like it's just not enough iron for some reason, and I don't know why. Let's feed these stone miners. I can, um, in fact, I don't even wanna feed the stone miners. I'm going to get these guys. Um, And you know what? Do I even need any more of these guys? I don't think so. I really don't think I do. We might even be able to um, go straight into the... Yeah, we just now got steel furnaces. So that probably is going to help us enormously. Um, we can build a couple with stone furnaces, but then the rest will be with the other things. I want to get tool belt because that gives us a second hot bar on the bottom here. Which is going to be great. Let's pick up these machines that we don't need any longer. Are these guys, is one of these guys stopping every now and again or something? Not sure what, what why I am getting these lag spikes. This is very odd to me. It should be running flawlessly. Um, maybe we need another miner here. How many do I have? Maybe I don't have enough. We have 11 and here we have we have 22 we can always let's add a one extra miner because it's it never does bad things to have a little bit over okay right um let's just put that one there and because miners on the left side are short i'm just gonna put this on the left side of the belt here um so because it looked like it was getting too thick on that side we don't want to block the output because um, that means it'll produce less. All right, let's pick up this stuff. We no longer need any of these things. There we go. We could also fill out our power plant a little bit more as well if we wanted to. Okay, thank you very much. Inserter not needed. Let's pick up that bit of iron. 
Okay, and we'll pick up these guys. Why am I picking them up? Because they're gonna be in the way later. Okay, good. Fantastic. Got our tool belt. Um, let's get some more lab research speed and, um, and try to kind of catch up with what we're doing. Now, we're using a lot more coal, it seems, here. And as you can see, we're using a lot more energy uh, because the pollution is spreading farther. I think we can go and, uh, and possibly fill out those things. Let me go ahead and dump this uh, copper ore in the copper smelters real quick. And I have iron ore as well. Now, if you want to recycle some of your materials, like I have a ton of iron in here, you can just drop it in here. And what will happen is that the inserter will just insert it onto the line. And uh, this thing um, will not stop processing because furnaces can hold up to 100 plates at a time. And the rate of um, uh, removal from the smelter is actually higher than the rate of um, uh, generation of plates. Okay, so this is this, and um, I, I would be, eh, it will still be nice to have lights around here. Okay, I'll pick up some more of these green circuits. It's a bunch. Oh my god, I have a million now. Uh, let's see. I would like to make some steam engines. Now up here, um, this is a partial array here. This is not actually the full array that we need to function. So let's go ahead and get the full array. I have a blueprint for this and the ratio of this guy is going to be, I have them in twos and I've got the full array and the ratio is one uh, pump to 20 boilers to 40 steam engines. And notice I'm in map mode. I am not even up there. Um, but I'm going to place this down. Notice there's a rock on the left there. You can see it um, highlighted. Uh, press shift and click to um, put a deconstruction mark on the rock. And if you have robots, the robots will deconstruct it automatically. Otherwise, we just need to go and, and go over there and get this sorted out. And now we can look and see. Oopsies. Uh, oops. There we go. Aha. Now I want to just count how many we need. We need 26 steam engines and we need 10 boilers. Okay, so I want to be over here and construct our 10 boilers. One, two times five. And how many steam engines did we need? A whole bunch of, I forgot already, 26 or something. 26, okay, so I just started 20 of them. And what do we need for the others? We are short on iron, so let's go and grab some more iron. There was still some in that last one that I gripped. Okay, so we need, oh, there's five. Okay, that's very nice. And I just need to wait for them to make more. Come on, give me more. There we go. We can actually put this copper back in the world here because we do not need that much copper on our own. We already have machines making um, the green circuits for us. So we don't have to handcraft any of those. And this coal can also just be shoveled into here, uh, or we could have saved it for our steam engines up above. Uh, one other thing that we need, okay, we can build one of those. The other thing that we need is inserters. So I think we have 10 boilers, so that means 10 um, burner inserters. And 510, okay, cool. So now we got everything uh, being handcrafted and this is flowing absolutely beautifully. Um, what can we get next? We can start doing just miscellaneous stuff like concrete. I don't want to get too far ahead in the science, um, but we will so that we can kind of progress naturally with the game. I want to look at coal. Let's look at the coal from the map view. See how I love having radar coverage because you can see this appears to be shrinking this this line here of uh, yeah there it goes see it's kind of like moving up that means we need to add more miners onto this line here it's pretty important we're going to increase the um, the power capacity very shortly so it's quite wise to to start um, wait do we need that one no okay quite wise to add more coal miners to the setup all right let's make our way up there. So we can start placing down these items. So it's important to note the ratio here for one pump 
uh, 20 boilers and 40 steam engines is basically how much capacity one pump can use. Um, you can basically it's it's you want to have one pump per uh, array like this. Otherwise, you will have um, insufficient water for your boilers to process into steam. So it's kind of important that you you know adhere to those ratios. Let's get rid of this rock. Chop 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 chop. There we go. Oh, wow, I did it without even deleting the, the blueprint, which, you know, it's pretty a usual thing to, to delete those blueprints uh, when you're doing stuff. But, you know, this this array is so easy to, to see and figure out. It's not even necessary to replop it, yeah, even so. Okay, um, if you put in the power lines first, you can run along with your steam engines like so, um, because they will only place where they have access, and they will not place um, on the power poles. Oh no, and I don't have the power poles properly aligned there. <laughs> Shoot, I should have moved that one up. Okay, so that was a mistake there. I should have this power pole up a little bit, but I know why I don't, uh, because in case we want to have regular inserters here. Okay, so that was silly of me. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's a thing if you want to. Um, you can also walk between boilers, but not between a pump and a boiler, which is interesting. Like, see, you can walk between these two boilers, but you can't walk here. So it's kind of like eh, kind of an iffy thing, but at least I can get out. I'm not trapped. However, we're going to use that same trick that doesn't work if there's nothing impeding it. I'm just going to put these pipes here and then stretch the boilers along. There we go. Using picker just to pick them out of my inventory. So handy that you don't even have to access your inventory. Let's get the coal. Yay. And this is not going to go anywhere, so we delete that. Again, use the pipette picker to put these guys down. The um, the boy, the which we call burner inserters start with a full load of fuel, or they start with the ability to pick up one one item. Um, if that item is not fuel, they will run out of fuel. So you may have to reprime those. Just keep that in mind when you play. All right, and now we have lots of stuff. Let's look at our. Um, okay, those guys are running perfect. Now we can see if we look at like the 10 minutes of time, it doesn't show our capacity. Oh darn. Okay. Well, it's okay. I thought it was going to show this great increase of stuff, but we weren't actually running out of power. Um, we just wanted to extend the array. I can put some lights out here. Maybe that would be more festive. I don't know. I'm just going to put them every other uh, area here. Okay. Very nice looking really good. I am kind of worried about biters. Where are the biters? Hello biters, where are you? I don't see any. Um, but we are going to be building bigger, significantly bigger, soonish. Um, right. I do have better armor, but we need steel for that. So I think the next thing we should focus on should be doing our um, smelting arrays and getting steel set up. Uh, so that we can get all the things done. Wow, this is, yeah. Good thing that we added those extra coal miners. In fact, we'll keep our eyes on this um, just to make sure that we don't need even more of them. Maybe I should add a couple though. Do we have any? We could put this one down here-ish. That, add maybe one more there. And we can balance these out because now we have more on one side, six on one or five, five on one side and three on the other. So we don't want this to get misbalanced. So let's just make another uh, lane balancer here. This is the corner version. Again, it, it splits between two belts and then equalizes them on the central belt. So that's how to do a corner one. Of course, we saw the, the other one here. This is the inline version. Uh, if you want to look at that. Okay, so I think, yeah, we should leave this episode right here. And in the next one, we are going to start on smelting um, and start making our grand smelting columns because we're going to need a lot of materials for the bus. And um, I may even do some of this grenading off camera because it's kind of boring to watch. Uh, but let's see how many grenades we have. We have, oh, I forgot to limit this apparently. Um, but yeah, we're going to need a lot of grenades. We're going to basically clear out most of these trees here. Uh, to get that going. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.